Hi everyone, uh, Vincent here calling in from Indonesia. And I'm Sandy calling in from Brazil. And the reason why we're doing this video series is because uh, we saw uh, recent reports that says that abandoned cart rates are high within 55 to 80%. And we know that uh, many store owners, uh, they, are what, they are very interested in increasing revenue on their online stores. Yeah, so today what we're going to be talking about is what is cart abandonment and more importantly, why it's important to you. So um, as Vince mentioned, uh, you know, is 80% of your revenue basically uh, or your traffic, if you will, coming and going um, without actually purchasing or, you know, just basically saying, oh, I don't want to do this right now. I mean, if you were to recover even a third of that, 20% more, imagine what that number can be for you. So that's why we want to talk about this subject matter. And hopefully we're going to be able to leave you with some ideas as to how you can um, start working on on uh, recovering those numbers. Yeah, and before we start talking about recovery, let's first um, briefly go through what exactly is abandoned cart. So, uh, abandoned cart happens when someone uh, goes to your website, they go and uh, check out your products, and they add the item to your shopping cart, and they might even go through as far as uh, starting to. Uh, proceed with the checkout process like filling in their shipping and billing information but for whatever reason they did not complete the purchase and they just disappear from your website and they didn't buy anything yeah, and sometimes that you know online shopping is strange sometimes a lot of us are starting that process on our phones and sometimes we abandon that process because of various reasons it could be that they're uh, you know, their Wi-Fi wasn't working properly or they weren't comfortable with putting their credit card information in um, or they didn't have their credit card on them because um, a lot of us are spontaneous shoppers. So sometimes it's not a matter of they didn't like your product or your sale. Sometimes it's just a technicality uh, and then they will complete that process from their laptop or tablet um, and more important, more so from their mobile devices. But just remember, it's sometimes it's just about, you know, something else other than your, your product or service. Yeah, that's right. And abandoned cart uh, really doesn't mean that they're not interested in the product at all. So if you think about it, like if you go to a shopping mall, you go to a physical store, you see, for example, you look at shoes, but you, and you, you might just walk out of the store without buying anything. It doesn't mean that you're not interested in the shoes. It could be because you wanted more time to think about it or the price is uh, too expensive. It's just the same with uh, online yeah. shopping. Yes, exactly. And, you know, sometimes we, you know, when we get to the checkout, we pick out other things. But as Vince is saying, um, that is sometimes it's a matter of, you know, we go into a store now and we have our phones and we're looking at it trying to compare price. So that's the one thing you don't want to happen is you don't want people to abandon your cart and then go to your competition because they found it a better price. You want to continue to engage them. So that's something else that we're going to be sharing with you throughout this series as to how to continue to nurture those relationships and get them back into the process of buying from you. And then on top of that, how you can then upsell them into the next product, which is really key to increasing your bottom line. Something else we're going to be talking about in the um, process of cart abandonment. Now that you know what uh, abandoned cart is, so go ahead and comment down below if you know what is the abandoned cart rate for your online store. And if you don't know what it is, also uh, go ahead and leave a comment as well and we'll show you how to uh, find the abandoned cart rate. Awesome. So we'll see you in the next video. Ciao. See you. See you. Hey, this is Sandy. What you've been watching is a small segment of our nine point e-commerce solution we like to call the Relationship Builder Template. This template is designed to take you from building trust with your highly engaged audience to an efficient and scalable product ecosystem that will feel like your personal ATM machine without the worry of keeping your funnel full or overspending on your ads budget. If this sounds like the direction you'd be interested in taking your e-com business, click on the link provided, DM or send message template, and it will be delivered directly to you.
Thanks again for watching. Ciao.